Welcome to Talk Around Riyadh, the Wheel of Time showcast. I'm your host, Joe Perry, here with my co-hosts, Jen Isgro and Tom Kakoza. How are you doing tonight, Jen? I am doing great. I actually have a good story that I wanted to share with you guys from when I was driving home from work today. So I stopped at a red light and in the intersection looks like a guy had like hit a person on a bicycle. It happened earlier and I didn't see anybody injured, but there was an ambulance down the block. But when I was sitting there at the red light, the guy comes, another guy comes and picks up the bicycle. So I don't know if he was like related to the person that got hit and he's yelling at the guy in the car and the guy in the car jumps out and starts pushing him. And they're literally swinging at each other in the middle of the intersection. And then the light turned green and I had to leave. And I was disappointed because I really <laughs> wanted to see what was going to happen next. Oh, boy. So that was my yeah. exciting drive home from work. Nothing brings out anger like driving. Oh, my God. And politics. Was- How you doing today, Tom? <laughs> okay, I got. Um, I called in for jury duty today. Um, which oh, that's where you were. I, yeah, yeah. So I, uh, I, I served plenty of times. So I, I like serving on juries, but this was particularly difficult uh, session. So uh, there was about 200 plus people who got called in for jur- for the jury duty today, uh, which is a lot. Uh, normally it's about like 100 or 150 you get called in on a given day for 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 county court, uh, and we all got assigned to the same case. And they're like, 200 people got assigned and, to one case. Yeah, not not, we're, not that we're all in the jury, but we're all going to be filtered through the jury selection process for one case, yeah. which they told us today that jury selection process alone will be three days Ugh. like they're not gonna right they'll they think they'll be done with it hopefully by monday and if the case will be probably about three weeks long um which is uh well you've got a not one in 200 an ideal time well not a one in 200 chance but um whatever 200 yeah. 12 is so like you know and people obviously everyone tries to get out of it immediately and the judge yeah. like the judge was like no no the only thing he did what I thought was cool was that he he asked if you had vacations planned in the next couple of weeks and then if people said yes yeah, said okay great just come up and show me the tickets on your phone and huh. I'll get I'll let you go mm-hmm. right and then one guy was like look I just, I can't show you I I'm driving to Pennsylvania but it is my birthday I can show you that <laughs> and then and the, and the judge let that guy go everybody else. No, had tickets, so. um, I tried to get out yeah. of jury duty too, and the judge was like sassy to me. I didn't get out of it. Do you think yeah, they never I know, heard? I, I like, never try and I never th- try and get out. Everything but I do. they've heard. I know, everything. but like I said, I said my yeah. daughter has special needs, and I have to be home to take care of her. So they said, he said, "Who's taking care of her right now?" I said, "Well, my in laws." He was like, "Well, your in laws are gonna have to step up." Like, okay, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, he said. They, they, they said like um. You should have said what, she's what out in the car, like, locked in the car outside. Yeah, I left her outside. I left the window cracked. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they were like, um, if you're, if you're, if you have a job, and you're the only person who takes care of your kids, too bad. Like that's not an excuse. This is your job now. Like yeah. they, they were very country. merciless. Step up. Yeah, I know because everybody think, um, would, leave, would leave if they had a choice to leave. Nobody I wouldn't leave. leave. I mean, I, like, I, I actually, when I was in my twenties, I did um. What the heck is it called? Grand jury. Grand jury. And it was like two Grand straight jury. weeks. But I was single and I, you know, I didn't have kids and it was, I got two weeks off my job and I was interesting. I liked it. But now it's like, I have lots of shit to do. I can't, yeah. I had nothing to do. It's not like I was going food shopping and like taking care of my house. Yeah. I, I literally, all I could think about was uh, like, I have to do like 10 employee evaluations and that's, that, that's what I was going to be working on. And then like, we're like, who, like, Whatever. I always think about it was just the insane amount of work that I have that was just piling up while I was there. But that's all right. You could control if they they pick you, though. You could you could have brought those done those evaluations (laughs) while you were sitting there today. I I I I (laughs) was was allowed to be on my phone into the courtroom. No, no laptops. (laughs) And after eleven o'clock, eleven thirty, they said get off your phones. Yeah, I've never. They were choosing people. They were like questioning people today. They didn't do that until uh, uh, almost three. Ugh. There was so much like pre dramatic yeah. stuff, and they went through a lot of like pre vetting, like pre questioning vetting, and almost Welcome every to our single new person. Jury duty podcast, like, everyone. Yeah, got, got, they got told too bad. 
where they spent like 15 minutes with like each part. I was like, oh, Jury what's Randall? the, you don't know what the case is yet? I do. And I think I'm going to get excused because it's Jur- something Jury that, Riyadh? it's something, it's, it's something that like, uh, talk to Jury know, it's, it's very, yeah, it's a, it, it's a, um, it, it's related to what's wrong with, uh, Jury Iran with, with what? With one of my kids. Oh, okay. It's it's so I uh, it's like a whatever the kid died and oh, God. Uh, they're soon the doctor and all right. Whatever. Well, and, can we can we stop talking about jury duty, especially your de- really depressing case, Tom? Because I'm sure Jesus. everyone really is ready to slit their wrists at this point. <laughs> I'm sorry, she asked. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I want to know. I'm interested. That, all right. Does everyone else want to know? If everyone says they want to know, let's keep going. Everyone's horrified. Let's. That's it. I'm done. I'm done. That was it. I didn't mean to go that deep into it. It was just a very long day. Wait for the both of you to bring this show down. We're well, all Jen up. was We're talking excited. about Jen's people talking fighting about in the so, streets. Yeah, and people we got run over, cars. and Tom's got a terrible court case in head. Hopefully, not ahead of him. But so, can we restart this? Can we just restart? No. I'll just not ask no, you how what's through. going on. I don't even remember what I was going to say. But who cares? <laughs> Let's just get into the show, okay? <laughs> what are we doing tonight, everyone? We're going to be going back to our wonderful episode <laughs> breakdowns for season two that we predicted before the show even aired. Uh, yeah, you remember those, people. If you don't, go back and listen to those episodes. I think it's episode 200, 201, and 202, where Jen, Tom, and I give you our thoughts and predictions on season two, episode by episode. So we're going to go back, relook at those, make fun of each other because they were terribly wrong. And then I think last time we scored each other, so I think maybe, maybe we'll do that again. We'll give each other's a one to five scale on how close we thought it was. I can tell you. So what? I know I did well last time. Not going to do well this time. I'll tell you that much. What do you want to do? Do you want me to read, like summarize what happened in the real episode first? No, no. Just go through yours and we'll compare. Uh, Tom here can't find his breakdown. So Tom, you'll be the, uh, you could be the arbiter. There you uh, go. Or you can be Thanks like, give me something you, to do. You could be like a heckler from the audience who just makes fun of everything we say. Yeah, I mean, I will tell you, I, I, I can't find them, but I, I know mine were awful. <laughs> so <laughs> you could be Waldorf so, no, no, and no. Statler, Tom, all in one. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I was good. literally going to make that same suggestion. Uh, 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 oh. um, Jen, do you want to go first with your episode one? I mean, don't read the whole thing, just some of the highlights of it, because otherwise we'll be here forever. Okay. Um, okay. The for cold open, obviously, we all had right. Yes. Dark friend social. My very vague parent and loyal traveling with a group of Shinarans. Lord Ingtar heads up this crew. Check right. Check. <laughs> Being very vague <laughs> is good. Yeah. Okay. Matt's locked in a room in the White Tower. Check. Leandra brings him his meals. Again, we knew that scene. So, um, oh, but no. That was, oh, that, that doesn't seems, happen in the first that, episode. That doesn't oh, happen in the first episode. episode. Oh, That's... Damn it. Damn it. All right. In the first episode, uh, she dresses him down. She's reading the letter, yeah, she right? Reads, she she reads, reads the letter, the letter to, to make him cry. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So whatever. I should have stopped that. Matt's locked in a room. Okay. Um. Rand has been traveling with Celine. No, but their relationship's romantic. Yes. Celine knows he can channel. No. Uh. Egwene and Nynaeve are novices in the tower. Yes. Nynaeve's power is beyond anything they have seen in years. <laughs> yes. I didn't mention true. how many years. <laughs> you didn't mention a thousand uh, though. So. <laughs> Meet Elaine and Gowan Tricand. No, no, Elaine. Elaine is shocked. They don't know who she is. We knew about that. Oh, no. That's not the first episode either. No. no. And oh. nothing with Rand is first episode. Oh, she gave herself a man. check for those. Those are wrong. Right. Unless you Take ended the, the episode away. with with like a shot of Rand and that's it. <laughs> that's, no. That's um, okay. Sure, that's true. You do see him hang a Maybe lantern. Yeah. Here I yeah. am. Is that episode one or two? Uh, uh, no, we don't meet Shuriam in this episode. I don't what's think. that episode where they all talk to each other? It's the second episode. episode, I think. You have it there in front of you, don't I you? I do. Let me look. This is uh, the problem. We should have went back and actually watched the show before we did this. Uh, I don't think Shuriam's oh, in did. the first episode, though. Shuriam demands... No, I think she is. Oh, she is? Hold on. Oh, uh, Liana's in the first episode. Yeah, she is. Liana definitely... Uh, yeah, because I think... Um, yeah, I think she is. She. Alana gives an update on the girls to Shuriam. That's episode yeah. one, yes. Okay. Oh, okay. So, that is in that... Okay, that scene um, is... In yeah, because with- if they're the tea, the the... Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I said we meet Shiriam and see Leana and other Aes Sedai. 
Alana, yes, Yasika, no. I don't think uh, we saw that, Leana, though, did we? No. Yes, we did. She walked yeah, by she and walked through the thing into the Oh, bucket. she walks past Egwene, yeah. 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 Um, Not Marina the Land, the arrive at a small house. No, they're already there. Marine visits with a retired Aes Sedai. Yes. Adedine Vandeleus. <laughs> I have Vandelius. Yeah, that's okay. what I have. Um, Marine <laughs> discovers they have not killed the Dark One. Did she discover? She discovered that in, the, in episode at, one, right? At the end of she discovers that at the end of the episode eight. No, but free to Shamael by well, breaking the seal. That's at the end she, of episode, that's why she leaves. No, no, at the end of first season one, episode eight, she says she, knows. she realizes that they didn't destroy the Dark One. Remember, because she says. She oh, but she still thinks where, um, he was the dark one. Now she knows that they freed a shaman. Oh, she I realizes see what you're that. Saying. Yeah, I don't think. Yes. I don't think she. Will. Yeah. Okay. Um. Then I have two merge. I'll attack the house. She doesn't That's say wrong. that in this episode, though. She doesn't say that till the second episode. No, but she leaves because she read it. it she happened. figures it, it out, even though you it don't know. It just wasn't yeah. vocalized. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if we can infer that. That's oh, when boy. she. Oh, you can. I think you can. That's as, when she as... figures it out. Okay. 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 Um, yeah. I just say two murder all attack the house. That's wrong. There's more than two. And they don't attack the house either. But yeah. well, I know the older Aes Sedai and the two warders take them down. Not really, but close enough. It yeah, that's I mean, that, that 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 kind happens. of happens. <laughs> Amish that's... puts in here. Technically, Celine did know Rand could channel. Thank you, Amish. You're right. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, <laughs> Celine didn't know. Land fear. <laughs> I. I think you came, you did pretty good. I think you got about half yeah. of it, right? And some you, of the stuff I got right, it just was in the wrong episode. So. I'll give you a 2.5. Sure. Tom, you want to keep the score since... Out of what? Five? Sure. Yeah, out of five, out of, two and uh, a half. Out of 20. No. <laughs> yeah. I, I think All right. you got about I'll half the scores. of it right. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Do you think that should have been worse? No, I thought it should have been better, but... Oh, <laughs> oh I'm sorry. Half right? That's it? Like, yeah, I think you got half of it, right? Right? I guess. Um, you had Rand stuff in yeah, there? Yeah, I mean... You had, um, what was it called? I didn't oh, have God. anything about Elias in this or anything like that. No, no you sure. didn't have anything about Elias. You did have Gowan and yeah. that. Oh, you did. You know, that's that's that that all. Elaine, and, yeah. Elaine, yeah. And you had the Matt scene wrong. It was in season two. Yeah. It's in episode two, not so episode two. one. All right. Since Sounds we already like saw that five. scene, I think. Let's see what you get. Uh, okay. Yeah. Well, Tom, are you scoring Jens? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, 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 oh, I agree with your two five. Okay. 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 Sorry, I wasn't. All right. So I that. have the uh, dark friend social, obviously cold open. I have mine's really good. I have Perrin <laughs> with flashback scenes to Tarwin's gap. Oh, mm, that's right. Royal oh, gets, you, you Royal gets healed from the ruby hilted dagger. The hunt for the horn musters. I have a whole flashback. Didn't happen. Um, okay. I have the New York Comic Con scene with Matt as well, Jen. So I got yeah. that wrong. Mm -hmm. Um, I have him being visited by Elsh Treehill, who flirts with him. <laughs> I, I have Rand. I have all this stuff with Rand. Uh, I'm not even going to talk about it, I guess, because it's all wrong. I have the... You can it's talk all about wrong. it in case it comes <laughs> I, up later. You I get a higher him, score. I have him dreaming of Min, which turns into Shamael. <laughs> I have him... <laughs> he probably doesn't even remember Min's name at this point. Yeah. That, yeah. <laughs> Basically, the whole thing with Min, and then it turns into a dream with Shamael okay. doesn't have... Doesn't have anything like that. He's on his way to Kyrian. He encounters a damsel in distress and saves her from some danger. Perhaps killing yeah. some people with the one power. She introduces herself as Celine and begins to travel with him. Not even yeah. close. None of this no, is that's right. Bad. All wrong. None of this, a lot of this doesn't even happen in the show. So <laughs> um, I have Egwene and Nynaeve arriving at the tower. They meet Shiryam. Yeah, the tower. tower life chores. Okay. I said I expo right. White Tower exposition. You know, there we get uh, interest in. I have. <laughs> there's a lot of interest and buzz in the White Tower regarding Nynaeve's raw power. Okay. There we go. Okay. All, all right. That. All right. I have Good. Elaine and Gowan. <laughs> not <laughs> in here. Gowan. Jen did that. I have Elstree Hill again coming in. There's a lot of Elstree Hill in this. So you really wanted. Wanted, you really wanted. So for lead into season <laughs> three, if somebody's cast as Else, we complete. We have to completely ignore it because they will not be Else. <laughs> just Else with another time. last name. It's just different yeah, last names every time. Not, just right. ignore the person who's playing Else because they're not going to make it. Okay, I also have Megan being captured by the Sean Chen made the money. Yeah. I have her meeting P Pura, another Aes Sedai who was previously captured. Um, and I have Turok introduced in this episode as well. We don't get, did we get any Sean Chen in the first episode? No. No. Right? no. I didn't think no. so. Um, okay, so Ma Maureen and Lan, I have somewhat you know, some of this going, right? I have uh, them seeking refuge and answers at a retired Aes Sedai, Vandelius' yeah. home. Um, I have them being chased by Shadow Spawn on the way there. 
Um, and then mm. Van, and then Vandelius's water helps the land dispatch yeah. the fades. Flaming uh, flaming power wrought blade on full display, which happened, but not in that order. Uh, Moraine feels inadequate and pushes Lan away. All right. Meets with her eyes and ears and learns Red's headed to Kyrian. She does True. meet with eyes and ears, but doesn't learn of Rand's headed to Kyrie. And I think she well, knows that already at this point. Okay, La- yeah. She knows he's there already because she, she already, already said- met with eyes and ears who told her about Rand being Kyrie yeah, previously po- that we probably. didn't see. And then I have, I have her sending word to Swan. She does write uh, Swan, but later episodes. Later. Yeah, later episodes. And I have at the end is Shamael freeing Lanfear. Okay. Wow. <laughs> not, you not- have some stuff. You have some stuff. I'm going to give a you a little bit at this, but 1.5 is I'll, what I was, I was. I'll get you a two, Joe. All right. All right. Are you writing this down, Tom? I am. Yeah. yeah Tom's okay. keeping track. All right, Jen. Episode two. All right. Excuse me. I have to keep flipping back and forth. Do you want me to start first on this one? We'll go back and we can. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, this is episode two, Strangers and Friends. I have a cold open flashback of Leandrin, Matt, and Fane. Leandrin with the dagger. She, she uses it to try to gain control and power over Matt to find out what Maureen's up to. Um, then she sneaks the dagger out of the White Tower and heads to North Arbor to meet Pat and Fane and give him the dagger. Was there a cold open in this what? episode? Uh, it's Rand. What? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's okay. Rand. The cold open okay. is Rand uh, going to... Uh, what right, is it? What's, yeah. what's his name? That's right. What's the guy's name? Errol. Errol. Errol? Yes, thank you. You're right. That's No, it's open. the dr- like the dream he has. That's the cold open. And then he's oh. walking through the... Oh, on his way that's to right. That's right. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. That happens okay, later sorry. I was just... No, no, that's yeah. all right. So this is right. Rand gets to know Celine. Well, he's we get to know Celine. <laughs> She's very forward with him and promiscuous. Um, I, in this, I have her knowing that Rand can channel already because she finds out in the first episode. So she's trying to goad him into channeling and um, mentions that he's going to need someone to teach him. None of that happens. Okay, no. Oh. Egwene and Nynaeve getting introduced. Um, oh, and, and Elaine. I have Egwene having a dream about Rand being tied to the wheel. So that whole wheel scene that we oh, got. Yeah. Oh, man, I forgot you put that right in here. Yeah. E- Egwene having a dream about that. So I have, there's also going to be Egwene becoming a dreamer in this seat, my uh, my breakdown. So we'll see. That's pretty I see wrong. that. Um, so here's a good one, though. This is spot on. During lessons, Nynaeve gets frustrated about not being able to channel. We learn about blocks. Eh, we don't really learn. We learn a little bit about it. And then I have Leandrin uses harsh methods to coax Nynaeve to channel, which she does. That's this episode, right? Where she does the. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Because it's right after the no, tea scene. Is it? Yeah. yeah it's where it's she, later I... that episode. Yeah. It's, I think it's episode two. Uh, yeah. Because episode so. three is she goes to the, to, to, for yeah. uh, the test. Oh, oh, yeah. It's, 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 it's definitely this episode. Unless it's the first episode. Hmm. It might be the first no, episode. I'm, I'm, I think I'm trying to find it in the first episode. Anyone know, uh, listening though. in Discord remember that scene where I'm trying to find it in my Leandrin attacks naive to get her the channel. Is it in episode one or two? I don't see it in my. No, it's episode one. Oh, it is Nynaeve episode one. Oh, the dishwater weaves when Leandrin walks in. Okay. Yes. So I got that wrong episode. Oh, I do. Have, okay. I do not have naive wandering the tower to watch the waters train and joining in with them. Um, I have Varen arriving in Tarvalon, <laughs> meeting with Swan and Liane. No. Nope. She learns about nope. Leandrin holding a boy in the tower, and she interrogates Matt. Not even close. No. Nope. I have Please. Swan in this episode, receives more, mm-hmm. receiving Maureen's message, talking to other Aes Sedai, and deciding to head to Kyrian with Loghain. <laughs> Not okay. even close. No. Min is staying with her aunts in Tarvalon. No. Um, nope. Moraine and Lan meet with Vandelius and talk about the prophecy. We learn about the dark prophecy, the door to the night, the watches on the wave, and Tome and Head. We don't learn that till much later. Right. Um, Maureen's seeking advice about her shield. No, she has no nope. idea that she's shielded. <laughs> Moraine and Lan have an argument about how to proceed with her inability to channel, and they separate. That does okay. happen okay. in this episode. Yes. That happens, yeah. I have White Cloaks, Born Hall, Dane mm-hmm. being introduced. Mm-hmm. Um, there's orders from... Lord Captain Commander Nile being shared. He's not in the episode, <laughs> but he's like he's mentioned clearly. Is right. he? Happened. No, that's what I have. Oh, well, I have okay. him being mentioned, not actually okay. in the episode. And then Perrin Loyal and the Shinarans, Perrin Dreams of Wolves. Um, the Maiden One calls him Hopper. They've made Elias. They, you know, Wolf Brothery stuff happens. They have a conversation, and Elias picks up the trail and heads west, which I think all happens in the first episode, right? 
Do they meet Elias? Um, and... Elias is not really yeah. a little bit, but no. But I mean, like they meet Elias. He in doesn't the first really episode. talk. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't really talk to Elias until the second episode. So. Okay, what is it you... the second? Yeah. Yes. I'm looking at the recaps right now, so I can. Okay. What's yeah, the uh, What's the score then? I'd say one point five. Yeah, I think I'm the same. But no, no, I I totally own this. Mine's gonna get worse as we go on, definitely. Okay. Like at the beginning, we all kind of knew where everybody was stationed. I don't think a, we knew anything except for Joe, who really, really was no, committed but... to going back to season one, and wrapping that up first. <laughs> go ahead, Joe. But okay, my cold hope for episode two was Elias's backstory being cast nope. out of the White Tower. No, no, no. <laughs> Wow, um, that was a real stretch. They're thinking about it now, like Elliot's backstory. Yeah, like who cares? The trail for the horde has gone cold. They contact Elias. No, Elias rec- recognizes Perrin for what he is, but Perrin pushes back on it. The group comes across a murder on nailed to a door. Uh, that might be in episode one, actually, is it? No, door draws episode episode, episode two. Three? two, 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 two. Because I think three is. Uh... Yes, 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 it is. Two. Okay. okay. Pretty assumption, yeah. Um, Matt escapes from his room by digging a hole in the wall. Mm-hmm. Here we go. He goes into <laughs> Tarvalon and has a drink in a bar and meets Min. How about he's in Tarvalon, has a drink, and meets Min? If you just cut yeah, the bar part, if you cut out the bar part, goes to a bar part. You're exactly right. So that's yeah. good. Min says he'll do something heroic and he'll need to save his friends. No, opposite. <laughs> Actually, friend. no, it's a neg- <laughs> negative. Tells him Egwene and Eva in the tower, no. Matt gambles and hits a lucky streak. No. No. Nope. Um, Rand and Celine arrive in Kyrian. Okay. Does, Rand does, hears... Does Matt meet Min in episode two or is it episode three? I think it's episode... He starts we... digging in episode two. Yeah, because we get the Leandrin and the the Comic Con scene in season episode two. It's episode two. Oh, they do meet. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah, he starts digging in episode two, and I think he finishes digging and meets Min in episode at the end of episode three. Is that the end where he meets her, and then the 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 drinking scene is episode two. No, episode two. No, he meets her episode two. I'm sorry, I misspoke. But is the drinking vision scene in episode two as well? Yes. Oh, okay. I wasn't right. Okay. Yes. Um, <laughs> wait, wait, like I'm, I'm really sorry, I gotta stop here. Really I gotta call this out. <laughs> Comment from Gabe in chat that bar was a real <laughs> hole in the wall. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. Well That's done, good, Gabe. Gabe. Well done. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. So, everything um, Jen said was perfect then. Rand hears that Swan has been traveling around with the gentle false dragon. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Rand visits him where he's being kept, some sort of hospital. That's the he end of this episode, though. No? About how to control the power. Is that? That doesn't happen until the. I think oh, the end of the episode three. is him walking out and seeing Logan. Right? Yeah. All right. He doesn't. Talk yeah. Episode Logan two ends episode. with him smiling. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, when Rand gets back to the inn, Celine is gone. No. Varen returns to the tower after a long time away. That's episode three, I think. Egwene admits to her she's been having strange dreams. And Varen tells her about dreaming. No. <laughs> she gives Egwene a dream to Angriel. Nope. No. Don't worry, I have that later on in my next episode, I think. I think I'm the only person who didn't put that in this season, I think. Don't even, you can't even not allowed to say that. But who you... knows? <laughs> I, I didn't even do these. That's how bad I am. They don't exist. Um, I have zeros down the line. He's power... fighting for second place. Nynaeve's power is put on display again. Uh, then I'm, I have like Shiriam talks to Leone secretly about if they could do the test with Swan out of the tower. Okay. No, it's. Um, well, there's Alana Lorraine. and Shiriam have a conversation. Yeah, about I guess. Nynaeve uh, taking the test. I guess. Uh, Maureen and Lan arrive in Kyrian. No. Okay. No. Uh, Maureen hears that Swan is here. Nope. We see a flashback of young Maureen and Swan. No. So I mean, four? you see one in the season. Five, five, sorry. Okay, I think this scene happens, but we just don't see it. Patton <laughs> Fate and his group of Trollocs present the horn to a Shamael. Oh, I'm sorry. Are we writing are we writing episode recaps for things that didn't happen on screen? They have it off screen. <laughs> is, that, is that what we're writing? We're predicting what's gonna happen off screen yes. now? Yes. A Shamael asks what happens to the oh, murder draw. I guess I didn't understand the assignment. Okay, and then of course our favorite scene that wasn't in it, Megan and other Aes Sedai are surrounded by Shanchen. Damani and Sildame approached uh, them threateningly. That was the end. 
Did you started okay, strong. Okay. I think it kind of fell off. There and I'm telling you, it's going to get worse as it. As I, it I goes think off. I'm going to give you a two. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'll give it a two. Okay. Nothing about well, nothing about the accepted test you had from either of us. You know what? Let me go first on all these gents because you have the the actual recap, so you can call uh, out things that happened. All right, so let's go. Episode two or three, what might be. Uh, <laughs> called open is three Aes Sedai meeting at the tower in secret talking about that there are other um there are others in the white tower who follow the dark one. Oh my god <laughs> that happened secret. off screen black guys are secret <laughs> oh yeah it happened off screen definitely <laughs> and and one of them was you were supposed to recognize the dress from the cold open the Aes Sedai uh-huh. in the cold open um Okay, I have Rand arriving in Kyrian with Celine, um, and she doesn't want to enter the city, and says she'll meet up with him later. He meets a, an illuminator named Eludra. Oh my God! Right, you put Eludra in, man. Uh, and she shows him so around the city. They're not appearing in this series. I, I would say. Uh, um, okay, uh, so with Matt, uh, Leandrin has to let Matt uh, gives Matt some freedom because everybody now knows that he's in the tower. Um, he meets Gowan at the water training gun with uh, oh. Ivan and Maxim. They have a, they have a fight. They have the the uh, the fight. No, only that with happens. Gowan though. I don't have Galad in there though. It was just with Gowan. Um, also, Matt uh, meets up with uh, Elaine and Nynaeve, and they he gets introduced to. I'm sorry, Egwene and Nynaeve, and he gets introduced to Elaine. Um, <laughs> Nynaeve tugs her braid. Um, <laughs> I have Egwene, a whole scene with Egwene and, and Varen, Jen, like you did, about the um, her being jealous of Nynaeve. Um, she overhears her talking about her dreams and talks about the dreaming talent and gives her the Tyrangriel as well. So far, it up. none of this is correct. <laughs> even close to correct. Uh, oh, wait, here we go. Tough. I, got, I got it. I got this here. Nynaeve takes her accepted test. Hey. Um, hey. She, she sees her parents and we learn how they died. Yeah, all right. Okay. I have the second one, her going back to the two rivers, shadow spawn attack, and she explodes with the power to destroy them. Okay, that was, that like was the third one. Together. Two and three combined. Yeah, and then the third one I have <laughs> sees Perrin frolicking with his daughter, which is wrong, but her okay. and then living happy life together. So I kind of got Ooh, his right. meaning Lan's daughter. No, no, I have P- Perrin frolicking no, with sh- his I'm daughter. I'm trying to help you. No, no, I don't know. I don't... <laughs> Jen, we got a potential juror here on the podcast, all right? Um, I have the uh, Shen Aarons and Perrin following the trail with Elias's nose, some more Wolf Brother talk. Perrin confesses to killing his wife. Elias is revealed to be Hopper. Wolf dream training. Uh, yeah, me and I'm <laughs> sold you on that one. <laughs> nope. Hey, people thought it was a good idea, man. Nope. None of that happened. Nope. Um, nope. Help. They encounter the fade nail to the door, which I think happened in the last episode. Weird shit happens. It did. You saw the little recap of what happened there with the parent. Weird shit happens. That could be in every episode. <laughs> no, no, but that was the uh, parent's vision of the people getting killed. Someone glimpses a right, woman right. in white, okay. uh, which did happen. Um, Land bonds with Vandelius's water and they share war stories. In the end, he decides to go after Moraine, which is kind of what happens. Yeah, the, does he yeah, not decide? I mean, he him in like episode one, I think. He does. Yeah, he bonds no, with warders throughout the season and shares. By this, war, by like this point, there he's at. By this point, he's at what's it called? Is he at um? Uh, in episode three, Alana's he's house? already with. Uh, he's not. A, is he at a already, house place yet, or is that next episode? Um, I think it's next. I think it's next episode, but he's already with Alana. Like he's already because that's the end of. The, he, that's the end. Of episode she shows up. I don't think two. Lan is not in episode three except for the accepted yeah. test. Yeah. Okay. So at the so, end okay, of the yeah, yes. the end of episode so, one. So that's Alana probably happens next the episode with the warders. Yeah. 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 That probably happens next episode. Uh, Moraine travel have <laughs> traveling alone is lonely. She bathes at her in on the way to carry on the waters cold. Uh, she plots her next moves. Not being able to channel sucks. And I have Sohan located in the ice to die arriving in carry Um, no, okay. that happens in episode five, I think, when they arrive, or six, right? When no, they arrive? like seven. seven. Was like, is it seven? Six, six maybe? S- yeah, maybe the six end of seven. six. Six or seven, yeah, I think. Yeah. All right. What? <laughs> give me a score. Give me some. Uh, I don't, don't want to give it. you a one, but. I think that that Tom was going to be a fair score. Half, half okay, a point. I'll give you a one. All right. Yeah. yeah. All right, now I'm just going to say, the last line of this episode 
title, this episode recap happens, but it happens at the beginning of another episode. <laughs> but it's okay. exact. All right. Here we go. Cold open. The White Cloaks. No. Nope. Uh, Jeffrey is receiving reports about the Shanchen. This is kind of like the episode seven scene. Yeah. Yeah. He's preparing to march there. So his son is eager to prove his worth. Valda's there too. He sends Dane and Valda ahead. So that doesn't happen. Um, Perrin and the Shinarans come across the White Cloaks who have captured a female Aiel. No. Ingtar wants to continue, but Perrin stops to free her. They get together, they kill a lot of the White Cloaks. Okay. Well, that happens in a later episode. Yeah. Elias yeah. dies in the fight. <laughs> no. no. Valda recognizes Perrin. But Valda no. doesn't. He Valda never Perrin. sees Perrin in that scene. Okay. Nope. Yeah, no. Aiel's name is Avienda. She says she has toe to him before she disappears. No. Later, Elias peers to Perrin in a dream as a wolf named Hopper. Mm. Okay. <laughs> okay. Matt returns to the tower to save Egwene and Nynaeve. Matt Egwene returns tells him to look at fine. Egwene and leave her crying in that yeah. room. That's true. Uh, he comes across <laughs> warders training and embarrasses Gowan with a quarter staff, which he takes with him. We both had okay. that wrong. This is your guy's favorite line. Nynaeve takes and passes her accepted test. <laughs> yeah, yes. there you go. Uh, kind. Egwene almost kills Nynaeve by bringing her dream chair on Grail into the testing room. <laughs> Egwene just goes into the testing room and does she something. She just go be into doing. the testing room. That's you got true. That part of it, right? You got us five percent of that, right? Okay, Moraine and Land stay with Moraine's sister. No, when does she get to? Lan never there? stays with her. Oh, no, uh, I know that. Maureen shows up in episode four. Is it yeah, the daughter of the night the, episode? Yeah. yeah, because yes. Uh, yeah. What's her name? Is in episode three at the dinner party. Uh, oh, I can't there. remember her name. My husband's Envy, favorite character, yeah. Anvea. Okay, uh, Anvea. You get a background on Laman Sin. Not really. He's quickly mm. mentioned at one point. Maureen's past as a Damadred, kind of. Not in this episode. Maureen visits Swan, who tells her that Rand is here, but they cannot control him. No. That's later on. You got uh, a lot of this stuff right. It's just way too early. Rand looks for Celine, but no one in Kyrian knows who she is. No. <laughs> Everybody knows who he she is. Dream about her. Oh, he has a dream about her where she's convincing him to channel. That happens. Is that in it, this episode? I think it is this episode. The like the channeling wet dream yeah. kind of thing? Yes. Yeah, that's this episode. Yeah. That's right after yeah. the party. Nailed it. Nailed it. Yeah. Uh, Celine becomes a Shamael who says he's waiting for Rand and Falm. No. Rand wakes up with fire coming from his hands and almost burns down his room before putting it out. No, That's, close. Well, yeah, you got part of that, right? You got half of it, right? <laughs> well, Rain appears so in his room and he attacks her. That's, That's also... That. Okay, here we go. Ready? Lady Surath of the Shantran introduces a Shamael to Lord Turok. Is Shamael presents him with the horn. Oh. Nailed but... it, except it's not in this episode. No, it's like episode five, or is it? Or... Six, five, maybe five, yeah, five. Something right. Oh, well. You got a lot of stuff right, but it's just in the wrong episode. So I don't know how to score this. Like, <laughs> I, I, I've been giving, I've been giving uh, half points for right, but in the wrong episode. So then for, I'm going to give a storyline. I'm going to give us a three then. Wow. All right. Thank you, you got a lot of stuff right. It's just not the right episode for it, which is better than what most of us. Like, this is like a curve, right? We're grading this on a curve. Well, we hope so. <laughs> All right. I, Joe, uh, I did not hear the glitch on my computer. So what was uh what was your grade? A three. A three. Uh okay. Uh I'm going to give you a, I had you at a two and a half, so you get okay. two point seven five, Jen. Awesome. Which is the highest grade so far. Yeah. All right. Wait till so wait till this comes up. Here we go. <laughs> Episode four, Bad. Daughter yep. of the Night. <laughs> I have a flashback of Luz and Mirren fighting about Ileana and her oh. saying, her trying to convince him to come check out this new power that she's found. <laughs> I want that scene so bad to be in season three. I can't wait to see Luz and Mirren. I'm dying for it. Uh, Moraine arriving in Kyrian, which was last episode. Oh, no, this is this episode. No, it's this episode. She's forced episode. to confront right. her past. Her cousin Barthanis invites her to stay with him. Eh, that doesn't really happen. <laughs> she does stay with yeah. her cousin Barthanis, or yeah. it's her nephew, Barthanis. Yeah. yeah. Um, she learns there's a way gate there. No, he's Creepo. Uh, nope. No, that's not true. He, at least he's got Creepo hair, so he's that's kind of creepy. Right. He's very charming. Um, she begins to use her connections to search for Rand and plays Dice Demar with the locals. She doesn't yes. play Dice Demar with true. anybody, really. Yeah, I'll say that. Oh, she does yeah. try to use her she's connections strong. to find yeah, Rand. Because remember, does. yeah, because then, and then, then Anvera says, "They're my and... connections now." Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. 
Yes. Uh, she Morgan learns that Swan's there with with Loghain. Well, she knew Loghain yeah. was there. Yeah. Swan's not there yet. Uh, Perrin and the Shinarins. Um, they head to a nearby village. Shang Chun come and there's a battle. Loyal's captured. Uno's almost killed. Elias gets away. So that's almost all right. Right? That happens yeah. this episode. The fight. That happens right? in episode three. Oh, not happens episode three. three. Right. Sorry, yeah, and wrong episode. That fights in episode three. Yeah, Elias never went in. That was like the one thing I had wrong. Uh, Sora arrives with Ishi at her side. That does happen in episode four. Yeah. Uh, for some reason, he lets Perrin go. They all swear the oaths. Well, he he didn't let Perrin go. Um, no, that's in episode three. It's not in episode four. When Soroth and Ishi arrive, that all happens in. Um... Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. And Uno gets killed in episode three. Yep. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's okay. Go ahead. All right. So I was all wrong about that, but somewhat right. Um, <laughs> nah, you're, you're, you're getting half credit for all that. Uh, Fane arrives in Falm. He brings the horn to Ishi, but Ishi no home. Torok is there, so he takes it. Fane is not pleased because of the whole box. He couldn't open the box, and Torok, Torok was able to open it. Uh, the horn's revealed, and Torok talks about all the glory. Um, does talk about the glory. He does. Uh, <laughs> Rand learns that the Amarlin and uh, learns of the Amarlin and Loghain's arrival. He learned, he remembers Selene saying that he's going to need someone to teach him, so he goes to seek out Loghain. Loghain gives him some advice. He offers Rand some cereal, but Rand is not hungry. <laughs> that, that was right. <laughs> oh, God, here we go. Here we go. Are you ready for this one? Okay. Matt wanders the White Tower looking for trouble and finds himself... In the basement in a room with wondrous items, including oh an oddly twisted redstone door frame. He slips and falls through. Oh. Matt wanders through Fin Finland what? and meets the snake people who answer three questions for her. Daughter of the Night Moon's the Ruidian part and all that stuff. Oh no. I have that in the Holy episode. moly. Yeah. I have Elaine I have Elaine consoling Nynaeve about the accepted tests. And and has and kind of forces Egwene and Nynaeve to make up and <laughs> They make up and have a pillow fight. Girls be girls. <laughs> That's what I wrote. Um, Egway talks about the dreaming to your angry owl. Um, and she wanders and talks. She goes into Tell Ren Riyadh. I almost said Talk Ren Riyadh. Uh, she sees Elstree Treehill, who transforms into Lanfear, meets with the Shamael. Uh, she recognizes them. Um, and then she encounters an Iowa wise one who tells her to stay away oh from the God. daughter of the night. <laughs> that was how I got the words daughter of the night into the episode. I'm sorry, that took a while, but I had to go through all of this because it was too fun. Oh my gosh, man. You you had it was like you were like <laughs> hitting your stride. It was really strong. And then I I completely forgot that you pulled in the, the fins and I, I, know. Yeah. I know. So what did my score? <laughs> I told you this wasn't gonna be good. I did well the first season, not this one. I'll I'll give you a two because you did have some stuff that was in it. Okay. Generous. Some stuff that just I was like, I actually I, I I feel like I need to dock you for putting the fins in. That's how crazy that is. <laughs> you could put me. You could dock me, man. Go ahead. Um, I'm gonna give you. Oh man, I'm gonna give you. There was some other stuff that I felt like was like half right too. Other than that, so I, I'll I'll stay with the two. I'm I'll, I'll, I'll stay with the two. I have the parent of the Shinar and stuff, but it's in the wrong episode and the Torak, that, that a, stuff. A bit you of got. Stuff yeah, I'm gonna give you. A, Full half credit for that storyline. Rand and visits Logan. Some of the other, like the Rand and Moraine stuff, I thought was like close. No, I have Rand visiting Logan in this episode. That which does happen in the show. This is the episode, right? Oh no, it's the third episode. He meets with him. Yeah, I was off by an episode. Yeah. I think with this one. All right, um, Jen, you want to go? Sure. I have this as the wrong episode title, so that's why it's totally off. I have Demane. Oh, we had to predict those too, right? Yeah, we, had to predict, yeah, we, did yeah. we predicted the episode titles, and then we had to make these match. Yeah, yeah okay. which we Cold. all got. So far, we all got everything right. Right, Strangers not, and Friends is now. episode two, right? Yeah, Strangers and Friends, what yeah, okay. might be, and now for it, Demane is episode four, which is wrong. Okay, Cold Open a thousand years ago, Arthur Hawking sends his children across the sea. We put in these really extravagant cold opens that don't even happen in the books. I know. I love were... it. Okay. And they're all wrong. Um, Perrin admits to Ingtar that he's a wolf brother. No. No. With the help of nope. some... Lo oh, see, I, I was obsessed with them going through a way gate because I didn't think that they had... I didn't know, realize how far they were across the country already or across the land. Um, with the help of some local wolves, Perrin follows the trail to a way gate. Loyal no. helps him find an access key. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, so they go through the way gate outside farm. They go to a small village. The village is attacked by Shonshin. Okay. The next morning, Lady Surath arrives with the Shamael at her side. Chandlers are captured, but the men are allowed to leave after swearing oaths wrong. Well, most Loyal of them were. As a slave. Well, just not the Shinarans and Perrin. Uh, just well, just Ingtar was taken from the Shinarans. Well, Perrin was too. No, no, I'm saying from the Shinar. The rest of the Shinarans weren't taken. Oh, all right. Okay, so it's half kind of right. Oh, well, actually, we don't know because apparently, <laughs> apparently yeah. uh, Masima just joined the Shonshin army yeah. or something. We still don't know what <laughs> happened there. Maybe he did that so he could like follow him. Yeah, he could have. And that's a great story. I wish we would have heard it. Yeah, it would have been a nice sort of outrigger. Um, okay, this is a completely horrible. Matt feels drawn to a room in the tower. He finds the dagger inside and fights the urge to pick it up. <laughs> Leandrin enters and tells him he could do great things with the dagger. He declines, so Leandrin traps him in air and leaves with the dagger. <laughs> Not <laughs> enough people are getting trapped in air. I feel like that happens a lot in the book. True. Uh, okay. So this is a go-to for uh, for the Aes Sedai. <laughs> um, Moraine and Lan take Rand to a better inn. The people no. of Kyrian begin sending him invitations. And trains Rand with a sword. And gives him some <laughs> other lessons, too, about being a man. He does do that later. I think the only thing you've gotten right so far is that and that and that happens in the other episode is Sarath showing up. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Maureen brings Rand before Swan. That well, Maureen doesn't. No. Um blah blah blah. No, the that happens tells, just in episode seven. Well Maureen, Maureen bring, doesn't bring him before Swan. Swan finds they find him and make him go. Moraine doesn't want, right? Heron no one makes go him Swan. go. Moraine convinces him to go meet Swan. He said, she says, uh, he, she says, I'm going to introduce you to her. She's going to, you know, we're going to reveal you or whatever. To. Isn't there a scene with her and Swan? Like when they meet and they have a conversation before Rand and then Rand yeah. comes in after that. But, but Rand is like leaving and Lan and Alana find him. Yeah, they took. Yeah, they, and they don't Maine meet with Moraine. Rain doesn't have anything to do with this. Oh, yeah. Oh. He ends there, but Rain goes. Like, no. well, Rain's already there. Okay. Okay. Um, Leandrin tells Egwene and Nynaeve that their friends have been captured by dark friends. She tells Nynaeve that. Um, Gwen and Nynaeve follow her in the night, and Elaine tags along. Is this happening in episode four? No, right? No, this is oh, episode. I don't even know if this is the right episode. Is this episode three or four where this happens in the in the show? Uh, wait, 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 yes, it is. It, 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 is, it, is, episode, it is episode four. four. Okay, okay, so you okay. got that right. All right. Okay. Um, when they come through one. the ways on the other side, the Shonshin are waiting for them. Leandra and Nynaeve and Elaine get away, but Egwene is captured. Okay, that's wrong. But... That's wrong. Well, Egwene is captured, but it's at a different. Yeah. This is a different episode. And they don't like. What'd you say, Tom? Yeah, but, but I didn't say anything about. out of the ways in this episode. No, no. Right, they come like, out of the ways in the next I don't episode. say anything about like Leandrin being bad. I I made it like Leandrin also run away, so like they yeah. didn't know. Uh. Okay, this one was bad. This one was pretty bad. You done? Is that yeah. the end? I'm done. Yeah. I'm gonna give you a one and a half. Okay. Yeah, man, we're like running the ball. One and a half. Yeah. You got a lot of stuff wrong, but you I picked up. You actually you reversed it this time. This time towards the end, you picked up some some points. How come nobody put um, Lanfear's throat gets slashed? Nobody had that. Nobody had that. No one nobody had that one. No. Did that you have that in yours, Tom? I think you might. Yeah, I think I had a shocking I think fake I have it death a, of, of. I think I have it in next man. episode. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Wrong. Go ahead. I wanted to say, like, as we're halfway through, I'm just remembering things that I had in mind. And just in case, because I'm not having the opportunity to also embarrass myself, I just want listeners to know mine are just as bad or worse <laughs> than what our, my colleagues are presenting. I just want to remind everybody of that. If you do go back and listen, you'll find out. Yeah, it's tough. Sorry. I believe you, Tom. I keep re I keep accidentally reading the recap, the real one, and being oh. like, wow, I was like spot on. And then I'm like, wait, no, this is the actual. <laughs> okay, Epi <laughs> episode five I have titled as Dice Dimar, which is wrong. Wrong. Um, I have okay. Is my cold open? Oh, it's a flashback of Swan and Maureen as I said I back in the White Tower mm -hmm. before okay. Swan is Amarlin. Mm -hmm. Um, Swan's not sure about the decision, a strain on the relationship, and Moen says that she will carry her. Oh, so this is this is Swan like going to be Amarlin, like right before she's going to be Amarlin, and she's nervous about mm -hmm. becoming the Amarlin. Okay, 
I, I, and I had, there's a flashback scene in next yeah. episode, yeah. I think, right? In episode six? Seven. Seven. Seven? It's seven? Isn't it seven? Isn't it like... Isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's seven. It's seven. seven. Yeah, it's seven. Yeah. But it's, yeah. it's the difference. So that's the... That's the, yeah, the, that's the swamp, foretelling, so. right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I have the Soroth arriving back in Falm with Loyal, Ishi, and Turok. Uh, Turok is pleased... Um, insists on keeping loyal with him to tell mm. the stories. Uh, Ishii learns Turok has the horn and that Fane's been trying to manipulate Turok. No, that's not what's been happening. Um, Turok's Fane, also not pleased. He's upset, right? Yeah. I, he's pleased because right. I actually have that written in my recap. Turok, not mine, the actual recap. Turok is pleased. Is he pleased? No, I don't have him being pleased. Oh, I thought you said he was pleased. No, that was in a previous, I think that was last oh, episode. Okay. He was pleased. Okay. Uh, I have Fane being punished by Shamael and decides to leave. I have Rand. I have, with Fane. Yeah, Rand, Maureen, Land, and Swan. I have Rand contemplating what Legain said. Uh, Maureen finds him and he's angry and almost cho- Oh, so this is Maureen finding Rand. Rand gets angry and almost chokes her out. She makes nice and insists that she needs to meet that he needs to meet with Swan. Uh, she shares the dark prophecy with Rand, and they agree they they all agree they need to go to Falm. Land finds them all and calms down Rand. He trains him with the sword. <laughs> Jen, this is just like yours. He prepares Rand how to act when he meets the Armalin. That happens. Hey, that happens in a Not in this episode, episode though. But... Uh, Rand meets the Armalin. They chat. That doesn't happen. I got Perrin and Shannarans recovering from the battle. Uh, the Shanchen remain, but let them be since they swore the oaths. They see how the Shanchen rule. Uh, the village is happy that there's stability there. Uh, the hunters true. decide to go after Loyal. More Wolf Brother training ensues. Okay, mm-hmm. that's Some true. That the Wolf Brother training. <laughs> I have is Matt- true, and the and the town being five? happy because they have stability. Yes. yes. That's um, the last episode with Elias. Okay. Yeah, I have Matt. Uh, after his trip to Finland, he escapes the White Tower. He stumbles into an inn, wins lots of money gambling, meets men. Right, um, this episode. She sees the images around him, connects him with the others. She tells him that she knows his friends and that Egwene and Nynaeve are in danger and she he must go and she has to go with him. That kind of happens in a different way. But no, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna dwell he on it. He wants her to, he tells her to go with him. Right? He's like manipulated into it. Well, but, I think later on. Oh no, on, she leaves and he follows her. That's right. Yeah, and I think later on she tells him they have to. Oh no, he's gonna go to Farm to rescue, but it's Rand who tells him that Egwene's in Farm. Yeah, and they, right, and uh, that's when she uh, breaks down and tells that's him, when, "Don't that's go." When Matt doesn't say, "I just saw Egwene to bring up an old fight." Yeah, an old sore spot. <laughs> uh, Varian's been following Matt and observes Min's ability. She follows him back to the White Tower. It's too late; the girls are gone. This is so. I had Leandrin go, uh, goes to the girls, warns them that their village is in trouble. Other oh, fellow villagers, sorry, they believe it because she's I die and can't lie. Idiots. Egwene connects the dangers with the dreams she's been having. No. Mm, no. no. Uh <laughs> Leandrin meets with <laughs> other Aes Sedai surreptitiously, then melts something in the flame. <laughs> now that was episode Man. three. Um Where Elaine follows them as they leave. Okay. Leandrin decides uh decides to let her come. The travel the ways end up at fall. There's an ambush in the Shanchen, and Egwene get captured. Okay. Last episode. So that does happen at the end of the episode. No, that's the episode before. No, Egwene gets captured in this episode. Episode five. No, no, she doesn't. She gets captured at the end of episode four. Does she? Yes. What's the name of episode five? What's the actual name of episode five? Damane. That's the episode she gets captured. That's the episode hold she on. gets captured. Hold on, hold yes. on. Let me look That's the it. episode she gets captured. Episode six is the episode where Oh, I'm sorry. Eyes okay. Without pity. okay. Episode yeah. four is when Leandra Le- Le- knocks them out. Yeah. Um, yeah. I you, I thank you. I, I'm yes. sorry. And then the next episode, episode is they're in the ways and they is... Yeah, the the other episode's when they get captured is when Eggwin gets captured. Yeah. Four four is Leandra's reveal as someone who can All use right. the one power as a weapon. There you go. I got the end right. It's not at the end. Yeah. She gets captured it. in like the middle. Does she? At the end is when they like. Yeah, the, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, they call oh, her. Oh, yeah. that's when he br- right. they bring her to Turok, right? That's when Turok yeah. is pleased. Yes, he's definitely <laughs> pleased about that. All right, score me. I'll give you a two. Two. All right. I like how everybody's like on the same page with this. No one has scored higher <sighs> yeah, than really, three, uh, I think, right? We went. We went through almost absolutely no uh, grading metrics too. We're just yeah. we're just in the zone. All right, Jen. 
Um, Jen's typing her recap right no, now. No, somebody's saying our memory is really good, but I'm I have my re- um, recap. We literally do not remember all the stuff that happened in the real episodes. Yeah, I literally told Jen before I was before we started. I, I was like, Jen, do you have your recaps? Because I just realized when I was reading mine that I don't remember what happens in each episode in real life. So okay, um, episode five, I have Dias Dimar. Okay. Um. Cold open, Aiel attacking Kyrian during the Aiel War. <laughs> you have a lot of flashbacks in your cold open. I have that as one of the cold opens, too. Because <laughs> that's because we were like, why are Aiel getting blown away from the door? It's not even Aiel. Silly Aiel. No, it's not even Aiel. Regular right. people. They would be upset if we thought that. Uh, we were told that it was an Aiel by someone that we should trust. And I was still like, nah. <laughs> no, I think it is. I don't believe you. You turned into Norm McDonald's? Nah, nah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I will say this. I um, if you remember, Ari was going through. Well, we were doing this. Uh, uh, Kiki Ari was going through her uh, filming breakdown, the videos that she puts out on YouTube where she puts down the things, and, and she was saying it looks like they were in Carrie Ann for most of the season. And I was like, that's impossible. <laughs> I have them. I do remember that I have them like go and come back and go. go I, <laughs> I I can't imagine that they'd stay there for seven episodes, but they did. So, okay. sorry. It's okay. Perrin is depressed again. Elias oh, is th- dead. That's every episode. <laughs> I know. Elias is dead. They no closer to finding the horn. Avienda and her company of Aiel catch up and join Perrin's camp. Avienda speaks to him about Jito. That might be true. Yeah, that uh, that conversation happens in that episode, though. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, got it. Okay. Um, Varen finds Matt trapped in Leandrin's room <laughs> and frees him. <laughs> she tells him his friends and Leandrin are missing. Matt says he can sense where Leandrin has gone. <laughs> she has the dagger, I guess. <laughs> her company That's him. a minus point right um, there, just off of whatever I was just about to give you. Uh, as Matt, <laughs> We're starting strong. We're starting strong. Matt and Varen leave the tower. They see Min, who says she's supposed to go with them. Okay. Okay. All right, Matt and Min leave the tower together. There you okay, go. Not in this episode. <laughs> Land continues to train Rand with the sword, not once but twice. Do I have him doing that? <laughs> Two scenes. Rand has another dream about a shamael. Well, he has a dream about. Well, actually, does mm. he have a dream of the shamael in this one? Uh, yeah. Oh no, that's this Rand's episode. Here. No, next episode. Okay. Um, the shamael has a dream oh, the, uh, where right, right. right where the Lamphere yeah. pretends to be Rand. Is that this episode? Yeah. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Um, tells Moraine he's supposed to face him in farm. No, Moraine knows that already. Moraine's cousin Barthanis has a way gate that they can use to get to farm. If <laughs> Rand can to open it. You want to use my way gate? <laughs> it says he'll try. <laughs> and Moraine prepares him for a party at Barthanis' manor. Okay. I mean, there is going to be a wedding. There, yes. No. Anything else? Uh, Egwene. Okay. Egwene begins her training as a Damane. No. Okay. Not in this one, it's but not in this one. Uh, her oh, rather than how it feels to get a collar around your neck. It's... Calls her Thule, but that didn't do that. Treats her like a pet, pushes her past her almost past her limits. In the Demane housing, I wrote Egwene recognizes <laughs> the my house section twelve <laughs> housing or something. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think this is that episode. Section but she, D. Um <laughs> then even Elaine are hiding out in the city. They do not get along very well and disagree on the best way to free Egwene. That happens. Yeah, there you go. Leandrin has a meeting with Surath. Surath. Episode, that and sees Surath's brand new ogre slave. No. Surprise, Leandrin's a dark friend. Mm, Surath that... calls her Marath Damane and says she would be collared also, if not for Ashamael being against it, kind of. Ashamael appears that was and takes last episode, though, right? from Leandrin. Oh, okay. I'm No. Where? Oh no, that conversation does have this this episode right between Leander and Sorath. That's this yeah, episode. You're right. it's episode okay. five. Yeah, you're yeah, right. Yeah, it does. But why? Why? Hold on. Now I can't remember. Oh, because Fane had the dagger. I don't. Yeah, whatever. Okay. It never left Fane's possession. <laughs> we had daggers going back and forth. We were like, "How is the dagger going to get from here to there?" To the there. The answer is, it doesn't. Fane just had it the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do distinctly remember that I have Fane going all over the place, same as you, Joe. I think I have him showing up in Carrie Ann in like episode oh, six of yeah, my recap. Yeah, you did, and I kept questioning you, I, and pushing he, back on like, I was like, how is Fane going here? Then there, then there. Right. you had him all over. Um, Jen, I'll give you, a, I'll give you a point for this one. Okay. 
And that was just Real literally, I was going, one you, were five. On, you were on track for a half a point until you got that part right at the end with <laughs> the Leandrin and uh, Surat's conversation. Yeah. Um, I thought there was something else that you were close with. I gave you a half, I think I gave you a half point for like. There was some stuff that uh, happened in other episodes, like the. Uh, you, you, had, you had like Avienda and, and Perrin talking about yeah, Gito. That's right. Yeah. Uh, um, so I think I give you, I think you give you a little bit for that. But then there was something else. That the, there was something that was bad. The uh, mats, yeah, the mat stuff thing. was, but yeah, the mat stuff was bad. Matt, well, I mean, we had no idea the mat. Yeah, we had no idea like, with Matt. Just all right, it up. shall we move on? Tom, but nothing, right. one, yeah, nothing one, we've come would up you with. Get a one, two, Joe. I have a one. Yeah, yeah. I give her one. Nothing we've come up with is weirder than like what they actually did. So no, I think that's <laughs> why we're so off. We tried to incorporate Matt into the entire season. And we should have just been like, we that doesn't do anything in the middle of this to, season. Yeah, we gave him stuff to do. And the downfall. writers, you know, silly us thinking we knew um, writers, the writers of the show know better. It's two, episode six I have called Demane, which is not right. Um, so my cold open is Soldam training Demane. Uh, we look about how they're treated through the eyes That's of good. Megan. That's right. The yeah, contrast yeah. between new trainees and cowed pets is stark. Okay. Um, I, I think that's we get that in a little bit of a later episode, right? No, that's the, well, no, the cold the, open is when you uh, Egwene is first being dragged into the cell. Yeah, so this, is right. Right. this is right. Right. Uh, okay. This is the Egwene episode. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, I have the White Cloaks, Shannon's loyal, all that group. Uh, Geo and Dan are on Almuth Plain. Jeff, I'm sorry, I put Geo. Um, and they have a right. captured Ihel Maiden. The hunters are on the way to the Shanchen. They run into the White Cloaks. They encounter two other maidens who are trying to rescue a spear sister. They all died killing some white cloaks. Dane and father mm. escape. Elias dies in the fight. This is not even close. No. Um, we really wanted Elias to like go down as a hero and he just like w- like disappeared into the night as like yeah, a yeah, I didn't really, sketchy. I didn't really like character. him in the show. Yeah, it was kind of a D bag. Uh but we I had like we were all on the same page that he was uh you know, uh, gonna like die, that was like how they're going to make Hopper talk, and they just didn't make Hopper talk. Yeah. yeah. So, um, Egwene learns what it's like to be Demane. She's taken back to farm, beaten, bent, but not broken. She meets two other yep. Demane, Megan and Rima. <laughs> yeah. Rima is a Demane. Yeah. She becomes one. Um, Rima is the one who no- Rima is broken, though. I have her. She's mm. she no longer answers to her name, but Megan is still somewhat unbroken. She explains everything to Egwene. Nah, some of this happens, but not really. He explained um, everything to Egwene and Ani. Uh, I mean, you're strong here, Joe. You're strong here. This is this is very good for us. I have uh, Elaine and Nynaeve. They find each other. Curse Leandrin. They exp- not curse Cursor. Expose what happened and reluctantly agree that Leandrin is Black Aja. I don't know what that means. They expose yes. what happened, but well, they tell Rima that Leandrin is Black Aja. Yeah, they decide to head to Falm. Uh, this is before they had to farm though. They had to farm to find Egwene and free her. Um, okay. I don't have them freeing her. They, that's why they go to farm. Matt, Min, and Varen, right? Because we have all. I have all of them together going. Right. Um, or together. They Varen learns that Leandra was spotted taking the girls out of the city. They follow her trail to the Waygate. Matt's terrified, but won't let his fear of the Waygate <laughs> get in the way of helping Nynaeve and Egwene. It was right there for so you. That's some writers. good. That's some good writing. That's a good callback. It was, and fortunately, the writers of the show didn't think so. Um, and they go through the ways to fall. Uh, Rand, Moran, and Lan, while being entertained at Barthanus's Manor, Lan, Lanfear learns of Moran's presence. She's not happy and sends a fist of trollocs to attack. <laughs> Causes a riot and starts blowing shit up. Okay. All that's right. episodes. That's that's the next episode. Break the next up episode. the sentences into like sections. Wait, wait. Okay. An Illuminator Guildhouse catches fire, and Rand has to rescue Eludra. Parthenis right. is killed. He's killed next episode, I think. Right. Um. They all decided. Oh, we think he's killed. They all decide it's time yeah. to leave Kyrie and go to farm. What better way to travel than through a waygate? Uh. That that a lot. Of, most of that stuff happens, kind of. But later in the next episode, um, yeah. here we go. Gowan's looking for his sister in the White Tower, but she's nowhere well, to be found. Oh, that's right. We had to put <laughs> Gowan back in the show. <laughs> he questions some ice society don't have an answer. Leanna is concerned. They just found out okay. that 13 sisters have left the White Tower and stuff was stolen and dead bodies were found. She tells Gowan that, um, oh, she tells Gowan that uh, Elaine's away on assignment. <laughs> that's my episode <laughs> six, Damane. Oh, my gosh. I, I gotta say, man, a lot of that was strong. 
I'm I'm thinking uh three. I'm thinking a three on that. Wow. And you had the you had a look yet. I had a lot I mean, of stuff that just you, wasn't in this episode. But some stuff that was. Yeah. I, think, uh, I, think I was gonna give you a two. Oh, well, two point five it is. Right. You, we were, we were like, why did you call the other episode "Dice the Bar"? And I remember you have tons of Dice the Bar in this episode, don't you? <laughs> I don't know. Everyone's yeah. a flashback. Every cold open for you is a flashback. They're all good. There it goes. They were all good. No, but these were all. The, I tried to use the cold opens that we came up with at Wacom. That's what I was trying to shoehorn. Them oh, all that's in. right. I forgot about that. Um. Okay. Parent spends time in the Wolf Dream with Hopper. Mm. No. Well, okay. Due to the influence of Hopper and the IEL, Perrin begins to forgive himself for the violence he has done. Uh, he starts to, yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. Half a point. Finds <laughs> out that both Loyal and the Horn are in fall. I mean, I guess. And the group well, he together a plan the... to get them both yeah. back. He knows I, I don't know. I guess he's still with Ingtar. Varen takes Matt yeah. and Min through the ways, with Matt having to overcome his fear and guilt before entering. We're so smart, Joe. We are. When they arrive at Farm, Varen says they will need to hide out. Min takes them to an inn owned by her two aunts. <laughs> Min doesn't go to Farm. We all have Min going to Farm. Doesn't happen. Yeah, we also all have right to. We, uh, I think right. We have Varen going to Farm. No. That yes, I either. think when we mostly. We were really trying to get the end of the of the Great Hunt. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yawning. Sorry. Rand attends the party at Barthanus's Manor. Halfway through the party, Trollocs come and start attacking the guests, <laughs> led by Pat and Fane. Well, that'd be, that's, Ranch, that's the book thing. Okay, then I did this. I don't even know why. Rand channels to open the way gate, but something appears different. Uh, Rand, Lan, and Maureen are flickered across many different versions oh. of their lives. You have flicker, it's flicker in this too, to Tom. Wheel. I don't even know why, because I was sure it wasn't going to happen. Uh, eventually, Rand is able to stop the flickering. The group emerges near Farm. Maureen thinks channeling tainted Sidene may have caused the flickers. All wrong. Then mm. even Elaine have figured out how to open the demonic collars. No, not in this. No. Well, they kind of figure it out. Rima shows episode. them how to do it. What? Does is it Rima who shows them how to do no, it? No, they just figure out that it. Oh, they just figure it says out. it feels Nineveh like it out. needs to be like whole, and you have to put it near someone who could channel. Totally. Okay, so Nineveh does figure that out. It either. doesn't open. They don't figure out that like you have to kill the demonic, the Soldam, to like. They figure out how to open it to put it on someone, yeah, not yeah. to like get it off. Okay. Oh, okay. Right. Before executing I, a plan, I, what? I took it as they just she just figured out how to open it, regardless of whether it was on somebody or not. I don't know. I don't know how she. We never saw it come off anyone unless like they were. Well, dead my name never got there. That's dead. why. That's true. Um, before executing a plan to save Egwene, they visit the docks where they meet ship captain Bale Doman. <laughs> The girls negotiate with Doma to help them escape. Okay, no. Uh, Egwene's still being treated like an animal. Rena says she's proud of her. But Egwene realizes even fantasizing about hurting Rena causes her physical pain. All right. Um, hey. This is wrong. Egwene is brought before Surath. Due to her strength and the power, she's going to be shipped directly to Shanchen in a few days. Oh, <laughs> Egwene seems strong. loyal, but can't speak to him. No. I mean, loyal to Egwene. Yes. True. Yeah, she could. She okay, did, She wasn't able to speak with him. Yeah. <laughs> you're right there. She didn't know he was true. That, not in it. my kitchen. So. You're done. Oh man. Uh, uh it's not one. Yeah, it's not great. That's a lot of really weird <laughs> stuff going on there. Yeah. I thought my I cold went, opens uh, one, were. I mean, off. I'm generous. You know, one and a half. Thank you, Tom. I uh, so that's a one point two five. I do think. I also I, I went, so Joe had Trollocs, Jen had Trollocs and Fane. I just had Fane. We all had the party. <laughs> we all had the wedding. We all had it attacked and just the house destroyed. But like Barthanus was in it. How could like how could we not think there was gonna be a party at Barthanus's madness? No, I just like that we're all like, and it's gonna be crazy. And like <laughs> you know, we're trying to think. Was I had and Joe, I think you said place. it during the thing. Yes, I have it. I have it in episode seven, I think. Yeah, you're a flicker. But flicker, I also yeah. have flicker, 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 and I have it because Min, I believe Min, Matt, and Varen take a waygate to at the same exact moment. Rand oh, and Moraine, and yeah, 
They're all taking away then, at the same time to the same and that, place. And, that's, and that like causes things to go out of whack. And yeah. then they get I have them I have them thrown out at into farm at different times. Yeah. I think. So like that's why they're separated. Yeah. Episode seven, Eyes Without Pity, wrong. Uh, okay, here's my cold open. A smuggler named Bell Doman's ship is attacked by the Sean Chin. He's forced to the port. At farm, his cargo is confiscated. Poor Bell. At least Florin Gelb, uh, he asked Florin Gelb to keep him company. That's right, everybody. I have Florin Gelb in this. Um, Is it necessary? Can't have the Wheel of Time without Florin Gelb. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, <laughs> Gio and Dane meet up with Valda. You can't spell bleg without Florin Gelb. Yeah. <laughs> Christ, he's still alive and still a dick. Well, we know he's still alive earlier. But they do meet up together. Um, <laughs> he's been consorting with the new advisor who goes by the name of Ordi. <laughs> yes, it's Faye. <laughs> Already taking on a new persona. Uh, he's shit talking Matt Random, Perrin, convincing Vom, uh, convincing Valda to attack Vom. Oh my god. Um, Eggway and continue just a demonic training, all that terrible stuff that happens. She's close, getting closer to being broken. Uh, they better make it horrible, I wrote. Good job, Rafe. Check. Uh, check. Um, but we do learn she's surprisingly strong in Earth, which is unusual for a woman. So we, we do mm. kind of learn it, but we don't learn it. Yeah, she does some display of Earth. In is it Earth? this episode? This is this Earth display. <laughs> display of Earth. <laughs> display of Earth. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so not even Elaine. Uh, learn where Egwene's being kept. They devise a plan. I need figures out how to remove a collar, but she's still struggling the right. channel. Uh, True. Okay. Elaine needs to get her angry, which opens mm. the door for a humorous scene. We do get a humorous scene with the two of them when they talk to Loyal. Um, yeah. Elaine makes her angry during a humorless, a humor, yes. humorous scene. Yeah, so there you go. I got That's it right. True. Um, they search for a way out of town. Meet up with Bell Doman. You know, talk to him. He says, "Yeah, I can try. I can try to get you out of town." Uh, Perrin mourns Elias's death, uh, but realizes he's still alive in the Wolf Dream. Learns about more about Teller and Riyadh in the Wolf Dream. This is nope. a big failing of season two. I think they did not talk really much about the Wolf Dream. We didn't get any information about it. Um, uh, they meet up in Falm to devise a plan to free Loyal, recover the horn. That all does happen off screen. They don't have to do any of it. Yeah. Uh, there are white cloaks camped outside the city. Uh, Swan's on her way back to the White Tower because this is right. All the Swan stuff's over already. She's not pleased about what happened. Um, then we've got the Rand, Moraine, Land, Matt, Min, Varen all arrive in Falm at the same time meet up. <laughs> Hey, happy to hey, see Matt again. Hey, hey. That happens. Rand is happy to see Matt again. They share stories of what's happened on the way. Maureen's surprised to see Varen. We catch... Did we catch Varen in a lie? There is a scene in episode seven where we talked about catching yeah. Varen in a lie, so that does yeah. happen. Uh, Varen confronts Maureen about the boys being Taviran and the possibly the dragon reborn. That that's happens in episode, episode three two, 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 I think. Right? Episode I think two. that's in two. Uh, Rand and Min have a connection. She coyly flirts with them. No, they don't. Nope. Uh, more in the land, want to play things cool, random, I think otherwise. That's it. No, no, that's not really good. No, it wasn't a good. <laughs> it was good. It just wasn't it, close. I, I, yeah. It wasn't. I, I think. I think oh, wait, part I of the problem at this point is that. I, no, I'm sorry. What I forgot. does I, happen in this episode is so out of whack. I forgot a note here I have. I have uh, oh. Matt uh, meets Shamael and drinks a trippy tea and sees weird things. I forgot that was there. You the forgot um, Moraine, Lan, and Rand, and Lanfear tr- leave together holding hands. <laughs> right. You forgot You forgot. Uh, Swan betrays 20 years of planning <laughs> and turns it back on her only friend and woman. Oh, I did forget that part. I think I had yeah. that in the next a lot episode. Of stuff, I don't know why we didn't put any of that in. I don't know why we didn't think <laughs> that, that was all going to happen. I think I had that in this episode. episode. All right. Give me, give me your words. <laughs> we have it in episode eight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's in episode eight. All Greg. right, episode seven. Wait, wait, you, did you score me? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> 1.5. Yeah, I, wow, I, I agree. Thank you, Jen. Okay. 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 Go for it, Jen. Episode seven. I got, I, uh, I got, okay. I have what was meant to be. I got, okay, okay. Okay. Cold open. A Shamiel freeing Lanfear from the boar. It does happen. Not in this episode. Um. Hmm, wait a minute. Like Jeff from like Bornhold arrives outside Farm and joins the White Cloak camp. Is this is this episode eight, right? With the 
Seven. He's given a seven. Seven. You're doing seven no, right eight. now, aren't you? No, no. We're doing seven. I mean, that's eight. Seven? Eight is eight, eight. is oh, the I white cloak camp. Oh, uh, yeah. Outside of fall. Giving is given a briefing of the invaders, and Valda tells him that Paranai Barra killed a bunch of their men. No, that didn't happen. Well, it did, but he didn't tell him that. Uh Jeff. Oh, I forgot about this. Jeffra meets with Lord Turok. He tells him the farm is theirs now, and soon the rest of Brandland. Jeffrey gets out of there as quickly as possible. And the I white folks plan had, to attack you had at dawn. Jeffrey meeting yeah. Turok. Yeah. Um, the Aiel returns to the camp with three sets of Shantran armor. Inktar, Masima, and Uno plan to take Perrin and Avienda in as prisoners in order to get past the guards. Uh, okay. You yeah, know. Uh, in the wolf dream, Perrin has a vision of Celine standing over Rand. No. No. Uh, Hopper tells him she has many names, but the wolves call her Moon Hunter. Uh, when she disappears, Perrin tries to warn Rand to be careful. Rand doesn't believe he's real. No. Min discusses Rand with her aunts. No. No. Matt nope. walks the city and can tell where the dagger is, but he can't get inside. No. No. <laughs> Brain sees Megan wearing a collar. No. She well, sends Land to follow her. Land disco- discovers the Demane housing. What, Jeff? You're at a zero right now on this Oh, my God. This is not, it's not good. Sorry. It's not He's going gonna break well. my whole score down. He tells... Where are we? He tells Moraine and Rand that Egwene has been captured. Um, oh, God. Oh, my, I forgot about this. Oh, my God. Not even Elaine are spending time in the in common room while planning to rescue Egwene. Nynaeve begins to open up, and they laugh together. No, not really. No, <laughs> no, it's pretty Nynaeve, horrible. <laughs> Nynaeve thinks she sees Land walk by the window. When she runs outside, he's not there. Uh, a Soldam and a Damani see her. Nynaeve channels to remove the collar from the Damani's neck. The Damani takes off running. That probably wouldn't happen. And Nynaeve knocks the Soldam out and drags her into an alley. She does that in the next episode. <laughs> kind of. Kind of. Okay. No, they knock her out in this in episode seven. Oh, is it when they is it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, episode yeah, but uh, Yeah. Yeah, that was horrible. Uh oh, that's it. That's hits it. Hits her with a club. That's it, yeah. All right. I'm gonna give you a half a point. I know. Yeah. You're, you're yes, at a zero until point. that part. Oh boy. That uh, was. Oh no! I'm Jen, starting to you climb. Were... I'm starting to climb back up now. <laughs> yeah, Jen, you were in the lead until this episode. <laughs> it's still really close, though. It's really close. Oh, well, episode eight is not going to help me out. I well, Tom, when, and if you find your if you find your breakdowns, we'll revisit and we'll do an episode with just yours, just going over oh, your boy. breakdowns. I I will tell you, I I no, there's no exaggeration. Mine are worse. I don't think we have enough time, Joe. To waste an episode. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, we've only got a year and a half, probably. Uh, all right. Episode eight. What was meant to be? Yes. Got it right. Nailed it. No time for a cold open in this episode. <laughs> Starting <laughs> off strong. Uh, this was the uh, the Luce Theron uh, yeah. Shamael. The right? one episode cold that open. has a cold open. You didn't. <laughs> well, it was a flashback cold open. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I mean, um, you know, whatever. Yeah. So I have Perrin, Aiel, and Shinarans enacting their plan to free Loyal, um, Seema, Ingtar, and the other Shinarans pretend to be Sean Chen. <laughs> it's only, it's only like one, sh- right? Do we see other Shinaran dressed up? No, just it's Masima. Just, just Masima. We didn't know that, well, that Ingtar was in, captured. Ingtar is, Ingtar he's not pretending. He's, he's a slave. He's not dressed, he's not dressed up, up like a slave. Oh, he he's in armor. armor. He is dressed up in the oh, armor. Oh, he's in armor point. at the end? Okay. Yes, right. when all the stuff happens that we don't, it's just like, oh, uh, that lady from yeah. Ky- a lady from Kyrian helped us get the horn. Um, they bring Perrin and the island to farm as prisoners. <laughs> Works every time in D and D. I wrote. They learn that Turok has both the horn and loyal. Ingtar is especially eager to get the horn. All right, so I got some of this right. A white clocks chart. White cloaks. White clocks. <laughs> I gotta slow down here. White cloaks charge the city and chaos ensues. Uh, yes. Little okay. boys smoke out this. Si- no, only kidding. Um, Dane is ordered by his father <laughs> to stay away and bring back word denial about what happened. There's fighting. Mm. Jeff from Bornhold is killed. The White Cloaks okay. take massive casualties from the Demane. That kind of yes. happens. Valda runs away like the coward he is. Nah, he yes. Does he wind up running? Well, he I sees mean. Perrin on his way out, wants to attack, but there's too much danger. When he escapes, he finds Dane and tells him that Perrin killed his father again well. because he's a dick. 
Dane decides to uh, he's going to get revenge by hurting Perrin's family. Season three, everybody, season three. Uh, Moraine and Lan argue about their relationship and their future. Yeah. Probably the only episode they don't argue in. Did they argue in the beginning? No, I think it's... Not really. They're kind of over the arguing now. Oh, that's right, because she's her... Yeah, we don't have... uh, Her shield is removed by at the end of episode seven. Yeah, you're right. Um... Matt and Rand slip away and head into Falm while Varian and Min wait outside. They're looking for Egwene, kill some Sean Chen and Count Turok, who's on his way. Rand's ready to dance with him while Matt fighting off the guards. Rand kills Turok. Okay. okay. That happened, but not that way. Uh, Matt wasn't mm-hmm. there. While being boxed in by Sean Chen, Ingtar confesses to Perrin that he's a dark friend. He moves on, but, forgives him. I mean, him. they cut the Ingtar scene. Sacrifice. It's not our fault. Ingtar sacrifices himself so Perrin can escape. I have, I have everyone cries. It's so beautiful. It wasn't. You guys no, blew it. Terrible. Sorry. You blew it, Joe. Um, Matt gets you the horn blew and blows it out of desperation. Okay. The heroes okay. appear and engage in a battle with the Sean Chen. Yes. N- mm-hmm. Night even make their way to the Demane pens of Free Egwene. She punches Rena and wants to kill her. I she mean, she yeah. To kill her. And does. And does. <laughs> and does kill her. She wants to. But it's convinced by the others not to. Um, they share their plan <laughs> for <laughs> escape from the boat. What? What? <laughs> I didn't say anything. Okay. Oh, I'm I sure just, I, I, yeah, I, I uh, said, uh, but it's going to about the others. Uh, they oh. share their plan <laughs> for escape via boat. While the heroes return, the Shantia begin fleeing around their boats, but not before Egwene blows one, blows one up. Oh, I have Egwene blowing Moraine. up. Moraine, 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 Moraine blows Moraine, them up. Right? She blows up all of them, basically. That's, uh, yeah, uh, they're overpowering them a little too much. She just basically destroyed an entire fleet by herself. No, she didn't. She only blew up the one that was the one. Yeah, right. I thought she blew up like front. a bunch of boats in there. When there no, a bunch of boats? No, just one boat. Oh, uh, okay, okay. From. All right, I take that back. I'm sorry. Um, Ren fights Ishi on the highest tower in the city. Got it. Mm. Lots of power happening. Lights. Ishi stabs Ren. No, Matt does. No, opposite. Ren stabs um, Ishi. Ishi dies. Okay. There you go. Ren goes unconscious. Almost. The entire, Almost. The entire yeah, it doesn't go unconscious. The entire city sees uh, and believes Ren to be the Dragon Reborn. Okay. All right. Uh, good. With Ishii dead, Moe's access to the one power returns, which would have been true, maybe. Mm-hmm. Her bond with Land is restored. They are both ashamed of their behavior towards one another. Yes. Well, uh, Land's not. Yeah. He was ashamed in the earlier episodes, but not anymore. Uh, Min and Elaine care for Rand while he's injured. Rand dreams uh, dreams and wise ones appear telling him to come to the oh, waste. Landfear pops in, revealing her true self and threatens the women. All the lady Chandlers scare her off. No. The end. Well, one lady channel. One lady channel scares, scares her off. Yes. I like that. Was, you had a lot of good stuff in there. I was there. pretty close on there. I'll give you 2.5 for this. Really? One. I thought I deserved better yeah. than that. Sorry. I'm, I, 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 I had you at half, a, um, at a three. Um, and again, th- that's not, the, like, that's because the stuff that's happening in the show is just impossible to predict some of the storylines and how they would be. It's kind of amazing addressed. that the last episode, I think I was the closest on when you would think not having any idea and getting all the stuff in the middle. Well, this is your highest score. I think so, we all knew that there was going to happen and follow and we just kind of put the pieces together as best we could. Right. All right, Jen. Uh, Jen, Jen, this was your highest home. score. You I'm, need to. I'm done. We're done here. We're done. I'll just, I'll read it. I'll read it just for. Just for completion, but okay. Episode eight, Daughter of the Night. Wrong. Cold, cold open. Flashback of Luce Theron and Mirren. You got half of it Wrong. right. Wrong. You got Luce okay. Theron right. Luce Theron and Mirren. Um, <laughs> Heron, Avienda, and the Shinarans go into farm. Not wrong. They get into Turok's house under the guise of presenting prisoners to him. No, they no. free loyal, but the horn's not there. No. Inktar admits he was the one who let Fane in. Heron absolves him and he sacrifices himself. Heron does not really absolve him, but he sacrifices No, no, he does sacrifice himself, though. Yes. Matt sneaks into Turok's house where he's, while he's distracted by Rand. Mm, he, he takes yeah, a box. He out of his house. He takes a box that he can sense the dagger inside of. Although he can't open it, he drops the box. When, the horns, when it also happens to contain the horn, he drops the box and the box breaks. Lucky. Okay, no. We didn't none of us had the an ashen dagger eye being made and used to yes. help known. open the box of the horn. Right. That's yeah, that's what I, I the man Matt, his storyline. Okay, here we go. This is almost 
Right. Rand goes to try and free Egwene. He's confronted by Turok and his guards. Turok sees Rand's heron marked blade and challenges him. Okay, that's the That all happens. Rand uses what Land taught him to kill Turok. No, we, no. we both have Turok's that guards. Well, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Now, wait, I'm going to take it back. Because <laughs> show Land taught Rand to trust that you can channel. And that's yes. what he uses in this instance. <laughs> what show Land taught him. Okay, thank you. I'll take it. Uh, Turok's guards all kill themselves. No, one of them does. You got okay. one right. I, I I mean, to to think that someone was going to kill themselves, you got one right. I think that's pretty damn okay. good. Yeah. Go. All right. Nynaeve and Elaine have figured out the big Shaunchen secret that Seldon can channel. I think they, that's no. true. No? They figured oh, it out. Yeah, yeah. They're the ones yeah. who figure it out because they put the collar on. They So they all, they independently figure it out, right? Egwene yeah. and then. Right. It's good, uh, an yeah. algebra, a calculus thing. Well, they learned that, though. That's at the end of the last episode, though, right? That they collar. Yes. The Saldam. They call her the so, Saldam. Yeah. Yeah. Um, right, so Knock they already the knew fuck it. Out. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay, now you've called They really Saldam. know it yeah, now. So that was last week, last episode. They free Egwene, put Egwene's collar on Rena. No, Egwene does that. Well, she puts a collar on Rena. Egwene wants to kill her, but settles for smashing her with a pitcher. No. Um, she smashes Match- her with a pitcher in her, in her mind in the earlier episode. Yeah, she does. Does. Matt tries to get the horn to Rand, but the White Cloaks have attacked, and it's Bedlam. Um, everyone's yeah, fighting everywhere. True. Matt decides to just blow the horn himself. Mm-hmm. The heroes come. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Arthur Hawkwing calls Rand Luz Theron. No. Mm-hmm. And the heroes turn the tide against the Shaunchen. Maybe. Yes. Yeah, I guess. Oh, definitely. Okay. Yeah. I have to take well, one more. Arthur, that- Arthur Hawkwing calls somebody something. Yeah. <laughs> Arthur Hawkwing calls. <laughs> <laughs> um, here, I'm going to remove one word from the sentence. Heron inadvertently causes the death of Jeff from Borhoff. I mean, he was in a berserker Wait, rage. All right, so Jen, you got big points. All right, we've come to the point, the big point, that we all thought you were crazy having Perrin kill Jeff from Bornhold. And yeah. thought it was just completely bonkers. He didn't mean bonkers. to kill him. He was just really mad. But you had it in here, so this is big points right here for you. That's um, true. And then I put Valda tells Dane later that Perrin killed him. No, Dane was there. He saw it with his own two eyes. <laughs> he saw him kill him with his own two eyes. Okay. Egwene is blowing shit up left and right. Kind of. Yeah. Bail Doman pieces out before they can reach the docks. No. Well, he, he does. He but wanted to piece out, but Lanfer said no. He tried no. to. Okay. okay. Wrong. Varen finds Moraine and restores her ability to channel. <laughs> Varen also takes the dagger from Matt. Right. Uh, she said she will need Aes Sedai to heal him. But he needs to stay away from it. No, wrong. Okay, this, this I wanted to happen. Rand fights a shaman on the beach in ankle deep water, as I predicted. <laughs> I was. That's right. Uh, I mean, land kind of has a fight in water. That's like. I'm gonna. I was gonna give you a high score, but I forgot about that. Your insistence there was on a the sandbar ankle deep water in the, in the episode. Fight. So I'm taking those points back. Rand sustains a terrible wound in his side. True. But after a series of events. A what? series of unfortunate events. <laughs> during that I put Lemony during Snicket, which Ishamael uh, mentions Fane heading for the two rivers. I thought we had to have like some kind of Yeah like, lead into the next groundwork. But I guess that's yeah. like Dane screaming two rivers as he's being. Yeah, I think yeah. Well, we got the Dane money. just screaming out <laughs> two rivers. <laughs> two rivers, two rivers <laughs> as as he leaves the the yeah. episode. We got the um, Mogetti and uh we got the Mogetti and scene too to lay a little bit more groundwork. Okay, so Rand kills Ishamael for good. Min yeah. finds him and takes him to safety. And while mm. he's unconscious, Lanfear appears and says he's mine. No. Yeah. Um, a lot of people watch their fight and word spreads about the dragon being reborn, we assume. Masima is especially hyped about what he has seen. Yes, they you yeah. got that. They yeah. show yeah. him the like... The Aiel say they have found their car Karn. Yes. They literally That's say that. Oh, oh, let's go down back up. Oh, how about this? Moraine channels fireworks. Oh, close, close. Wow, your points are climbing back up. And the Ewoks sing the Jump Jump song. (laughs) Back down to zero. Now, um, I'm going to give you a three. I'm tired. 3.25. I'm not sure if I want to give you a three. Whoa, first quarter (laughs) star rating. I don't want to give you a three, Uh, five, but you deserve more than a three. So. All right, thank you. Oh, my gosh. Well, I 
Just for the, I the had you, parent killer. I had you as a three because I don't do... I, I didn't know we were doing quarter stars. All right, so but, we could, the most we could have gotten in this is a 40. So, so give me a 3.5, right? Tom. Give me Put me down for a 3.5 to make the math easier. Oh, okay. I just okay, want to. I just want to make sure. I was literally writing a four. Right, mark, the max so. you could have gotten is a forty. No, because I'm dividing it by eight. So right, f- but five uh, point. Oh wait, no, you could have got five points. And the max you could have gotten is a five because I'm taking the your total of your scores and averaging them out. Oh okay okay okay. Right. So what's the it. final? This power, is Tom? believably coast. <laughs> okay, Jen, your average score for eight episodes one. Point eight four. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> yes, you did score zero, Joe, didn't you, or half a point, or something? Half a point. You, <laughs> half a point. You had a half a point for episode seven. Joe, your final score one point eight seven. Like <laughs> <laughs> three hundredths of a point. Of wow. A point. How you crazy is that? The notable part, Jen, is we didn't break two points with our predictions. <laughs> that's that's. And I thought some of it was pretty good. I thought some. Well, so it was we, good. We had some just, really terrible stuff in there that it, yeah, went down, it but. just didn't happen. Yeah, jo- Jen, show. you had the point five for episode seven. <laughs> Joe, you had you started out. You had a bad run. And so you me picked giving up speed her three- as, as it went on. Okay. It would have been funny if me giving her the three five at the end would have put her. You over had a one seven five, a one five, and a one to start off. Yes, if you know what, if you had, if you had stuck to your three point two five score, that would have probably done it. Well, no, no, I gave her a higher score, and she still came in. Lo- she still came in behind me. Oh, that's right. That's it would have been did. funny yeah, if yeah. it would have been funny yeah. if that giving her that extra two five yeah. would have put her <laughs> over me. Oh. Um. Wow. Well. That was a lot of fun. I hadn't looked at mine since since we wrote them. So I was reviewing them today and just like, oh, my God, these are really, really bad. Um, so that was definitely fun going back and looking at those and seeing how wrong we were about most of the show. Any uh, any last thoughts on those before we wrap it up? I mean, it's just. Like they came up with a completely different story, and we came up with a completely different. None of, I don't feel like anything we said was like what I can't believe it. You know, there were a couple. But it's things like Leandrin had a son. <laughs> his name was Ludrin. None of us got that. And right? like Maureen's sister was. Well, we had Maureen's like, sister. Well, I know, but like I don't know. Well, like, I didn't have her as a main character in the series. Yeah, like <laughs> Flicker Flickers. I had Finland going in there. I mean, the stuff we put Finland. in isn't, isn't as bizarre as the stuff that they put in. Let's put let's put it yeah. that way. Yeah. But um, yeah. So all right, uh, Jen, do we have any new patrons this week? We do, Joe. Joining the company of Chelvanen, we have Parish Wright. So thank you so much, Parrish, for joining us here. And um, to all of our patrons, we appreciate you. We love you. And thank you for your support. Yeah, thanks so much. We appreciate thank you. you. I think we need to update that that uh, tier and call it the company of Tel Janin in honor <laughs> of uh, our uh, Samael episode. I want to remind everyone to follow us on social media. You can follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and I should, I should update that to say X, Instagram, and Facebook. Although <sighs> most people probably don't know what that means. You can say uh twitter or x previously known as twitter the, form, the artist writes. formerly known as twitter join us in discord to, to continue the conversation there we also post our episodes on youtube so go check out our youtube page and like and subscribe rate and review us wherever you listen to podcasts and check out our merchandise and patreon pages to support us that way uh tom your thoughts do you think you would have beaten us no i honestly i really honestly think i would have the lowest score I think that um, I had Gowan more in the show than the two of you did, and um, you had Fane all over the place. I Definitely, think, I remember that. I had Fane. I had Fane moving around all over the world yeah. a lot. Yeah, I don't think I had anything that like isn't like I didn't have like a uh, a, a a a redstone doorway like <laughs> insert. But yeah, I just think my caught line was really out of whack. Mm. Yeah. Well, we'll if you ever find time. yours, we'll we'll take a look at them and we can always revisit them. I wanna Sounds thank good. yeah, I wanna thank everyone for listening, and you'll hear us next time. <laughs>